We're going to take a look at the scene from down along uh, the Georgia coast as we had Danny coming in. You know, the 21, the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season is already off to a very active start and the hurricane center. Noah believes there's a 60% chance for above normal activity to continue throughout the season. There's a 10% chance that the activity may wane and it would be a little bit below what we consider normal. And there's about a 30% chance we continue business as usual. But what exactly is normal and what goes into this prediction? This year, there really is a new normal. NOAA's Climate Prediction Center averages activity over 30 year blocks, and we just got an updated block from 1991 to 2020. And our new normal, it's up a bit. Part of that's because of better storm detection, like improved satellite technology. This year, NOAA is calling for 13 to 20 named storms. Of those, 6 to 10 will become hurricanes, and 3 to 5 major hurricanes, category 3 or higher. Here's how some of the key global weather patterns are shaping up for the hurricane season. During La Nina years, we tend to have more activity, and during El Nino's, not as much. Right now, we're neutral, but it looks like we may lean towards La Nina later in the season. We also take a look at sea surface temperatures, and this year, they're expected to average above normal. We look at the trade winds. They're going to be a little weaker this year. And then the West African monsoon is also expected to be more active, contributing to a busy hurricane season. So with all of this in mind, it looks like we're going to have a lot to track during 2021. As I mentioned, we're already off to a very active start right now, though. NOAA doesn't believe that we are going to see the record level of activity that we saw last year. So a little good news there. The next hurricane season outlook will come in August just before we hit the peak of the season. So stay tuned and we'll keep you updated.